Welcome back to Tremble Forensics Tech Tip Tuesdays. I'm Chris, trainer for Tremble Forensics, and this week we're talking about courtroom presentation. Or to be more exact, Tremble Forensics Showcase, a software purpose-built for the courtroom presentation of your scene documentation and analysis. Now, if you've never seen Showcase before, or maybe you have seen it, but you want to get to know the latest Showcase update, stick around because we have some good stuff for you. So let's get right into it. We scan, we measure, we take photos, we generate diagrams and analysis in the 3D model space, and we take a couple still screenshots and call it a day. All that work, that capability, all reduced down to a few static views of the scene. Now sure, we can print them out on a plotter to make a courtroom exhibit, but something's lost there. We live in a three-dimensional world. We map and scan in three dimensions. We diagram and analyze in three dimensions. So why do we convert her over to two dimensions when it's time for court? Now, probably because we haven't had a tool to present our three-dimensional world. Until now. Trimble Forensics Showcase is purpose-built for courtroom presentation. Now, this is not just something that's been shoehorned into the role, but a true ground-up software to present our mapping, diagram, and analysis in the courtroom. So how do we go about building a scene in Showcase? Well, let's start Trimble Forensics Reveal to start off. Here, we have our scene diagrammed from a combination of laser scan data, UAV photogrammetry, and optical total station data. Once the scene was documented, an analysis was done to determine the speed of the vehicle at the start of the skid marks. Now, because we're not stopping at just at scene documentation, we've done an analysis and placed our models in the scene at their various points in time. Now, we have also placed photographic evidence markers around the scene to help tell the story. Now, once our scene is built, it's time to place the view stations. You can think of these as places you would have the judge stand if you could take them back to the scene. Now, here I'm placing them five feet above the surface of the roadway with my terrain snap turned on. Next, I'm going to put one as a scene overview viewpoint, about 30 feet or so in the air. To preview the viewpoint location, simply click on the viewpoint and in the actions tab, go to the viewpoint and look around. Now, if you have any video cameras that captured the scene, this would be a great time to place a viewpoint with a zero offset right in the camera's position. Now that we have our viewpoints set out, I like to rename them just to keep them straight. Once this is done, I tidy things up and only turn on the stuff that I want to see in the layer manager. Last thing we need to do is go to the tools ribbon and export to showcase. Now here, I like to set the option to only export what's visible, mostly because there's things like construction geometry in the scene that isn't very visually appealing, and if this box isn't checked, all that stuff will be exported as well. Now that my showcase file has been exported from Reveal, it's time to open it up and finish up the presentation. Here, I've opened up Showcase, and I've opened my scene. The last things I need to do are go to each view station and set the default view. Now, you can think of this as slides in a presentation, and we're setting up the template for each slide. Now, I have my slides all set up. It's time to add anything I want, such as highlights around areas of interest. Here, the blood and paint transfer on the front of the car, tied to the bicycle tire scrub, is a good spot to put some highlights, since I know that I'm going to come up with this later during my testimony. Now, these added items act like things we put into the slides. The slide will be opened with all the items visible, then each item will be played on the slide. Feel free to turn off any measurements or other items that came over from Reveal. Sometimes, if you have a lot of measurements, things can get a bit busy. But if they need to be there for your presentation, feel free to keep them visible. Once you've added the items you want to your presentation and it looks the way you want it to look, it's time to go into presentation mode by clicking on the easel in the upper right corner of the window. This launches Showcase into presenter mode, where the only thing you need to move is a mouse. No keyboard, no arrow keys, no complicated movement to worry about when you have enough other things on your mind. Simply follow through the slides that you created and answer the questions from the prosecutor. Now, if you forgot something, or during cross-examination, you need to move your camera around again, 
simply tap on the fly out and unlock your 3D view capability. And then you can turn and zoom from each viewpoint again to answer any questions or clear something up if need be. Don't forget that if something in your presentation experiences a sustained objection, your entire presentation isn't scrapped. You can create a redaction over the top of whatever the objection is over, removing it from sight without having to trash the entire presentation. Now, this can also be used when a laser scan is presented, and we all know that some things at the scene are not acceptable to be shown in court. This is useful for those instances as well. That wraps up this week's tech tip on how to use Trimble Forensics Showcase to enhance your scene presentation in court. Now, if you have any questions, put them in the comment section below. Stay safe, and I'll see you all again next week.